All right, let's go to MSG and go with the New York Knickerbockers minus one and a half versus the Orlando Magic. Now, let's talk about the Magic really quick before I then tell you why <laughs> they're not going to win this game. They have been absolutely white hot. It's impossible to find a bad number against the spread for them because they're the best cover in the league any which way you split it. On the road, on the road as a favorite, on the road as an underdog, anything you want to look at, <laughs> the Orlando Magic have been covering the number. 42-21 against the spread, 66.7%. In their last 16 games, that's number one in the league, by the way. Second are the Oklahoma City Thunder, of course. Last 16 games, straight up, they're 13-3. and three. The Orlando Magic have been playing phenomenal ball but this is a tough spot scheduling spot for them sometimes in the nba there's almost scheduled losses and this is a really tough spot for the orlando magic fourth game in six days third straight road game and i believe the knicks are going to focus on really making it hard on paulo ben carroll six triples against them last time they played he was six of ten from three he's only done that three times in his career it was an absolute big time game from paulo ben carroll and the, the Magic have actually kind of owned the Knicks this year. They're 0-3 against them. By, they're winning games by an average of like 10-plus points. So I think this is a big-time revenge spot for the Knicks to bounce back. And number 11 should be on the floor. I'm confident Jalen Brunson returns off the, the knee bump that he suffered in Cleveland. I'm confident that he's going to go. That's the only reason I'm backing the Knicks and Jalen and the Knicks here in this spot is because I believe Jalen Brunson is going to be back. They need him on the floor. Also, I want to I want to talk about this really quick. Julius Randle deserves some love. All the all the hate that he gets, <laughs> Lord, Knicks fans can't wait for that guy to get back on the floor. So pipe down on any Julius Randle hate because now it's been a stretch where he's been off the floor, and boy, do they miss. Him. All right. They played three times this year, as I mentioned. Magic are three and zero. It was ten point three points is uh, was the gap there, the the margin of victory in those three games. But in the last one, no Dante Divincenzo, no Boyan Bogdanovich, and no Isaiah Hardenstein. Those three guys should go along with Jalen Brunson. The Knicks are going to be rested. They haven't played a game since Tuesday. They're seven and five against the spread when coming off two or three days of rest. The rest was very much needed, especially for guys like Josh Hart, who have been playing 40-plus minutes, 42-plus minutes a night, trying to work and, and grind through these injuries until they get back. Knicks also 14-10-1 ATS coming off a loss. I love that number for the New York Knicks. I think with Brunson coming back at home, uh, shout out our guy Jay Money, three times revenge spot here <laughs> for the New York Knicks. But I do think they'll be coming in ready focused, ready to play against a team that they've been getting beat up by all year long. I expect the Knicks to bounce back, get a W here with Jalen Brunson on the floor. If you don't want to lay the one and a half, I'm not mad if you take the money line. I think this is a this is a first half full game win for the New York Knicks. I think they're going to come out and be ready to go led by Jalen Brunson. Any thoughts on uh, me taking and fading the white hot magic and taking the Knicks here, Jim Turner? Yeah, I think I think the look really obviously centers around is if Brunson's coming back. And I think we both think that if he's going to be even close to able to go, he's going to be out there. And we always talk in football kind of about stacking injuries, right? Where there's like a certain position where, you know, you have two offensive linemen out. It hurts, you know, exponentially more than one. You got two receivers out exponentially more than one. The Knicks basically have like a starting lineup worth of players out right now. You mentioned Randall. They still have Mitchell Robinson for him forever ago out, and they have OG Ananobi out. Do they have four potential starters out right now? And each one of those guys, you know, one guy might be worth two points. The next guy individually is worth maybe one point, but when he's the second guy, it's maybe two points. When you get to the fourth guy and it's Jalen Brunson, that's almost right. uh that's like an amount that I think the books would really struggle to like that. To me, that's like a Brunson on his own is maybe a three, four point player, but when he's your fourth starter out. Then it gets to like a six, seven point swing to the point that it's really hard for the books to cook that in. So I think yeah. he is a big pivot point, And I think we both think he'll be back. Um, so, I, I mean, the, the Magic have been awesome, they, but they've been beaten up on bad teams, too. That's kind of my my love of them from the futures market has been that they have this really soft schedule. Like here's so you, you rattled off. You said how, how good they've been. And they have been great. Here are yeah. their wins, though, of late. They beat the Pistons, the Nets, the Jazz, the Pistons, the Wizards. Those those teams, are they lost to the Hawks. And the Hawks are the best of those teams, which is a very low bar. The Hawks 
the Knicks in this state are better than the Hawks for sure. So this will be, you know, a little bit of a mini test for them on what was, has been a softer schedule. So yeah, I don't, I don't hate the play at all for sure. Yeah. I think this is a good spot for the Knicks to get a W at home against a team that uh, is very physical, very young, don't seem to get tired, but four and six days, four three six straight tough, on man. the road is very difficult. And I expect a rested Knicks team to blitz these guys, especially with Jalen Brunson coming back. I'm confident he goes. 